Hey there internet strangers and my fellow UI perfectionists, it's Brink here and we're back at it again. Thank you all for subscribing. I've decided to make this video for my community, as I've had a bunch of you slide into the comments asking, yo Brink, your UI looks cleaner than a fresh barber fade, how do I get it? And what's the week or setup, can I please have it? Well, ask and you shall receive. In this video, I'll show you exactly how I install my UI using Elf UI. Pixel by pixel, click for click. One small caveat, do stick around till the end to hear why I broke up with Elf UI and why I am cozying up with the default UI more and more these days. All right, buckle up, let's start this UI overall. First up, the essentials. You're gonna need Elf UI and Bannock UI. Elf UI brings the brains, Bannock UI brings the beauty. I would recommend using them together. It's like getting a Titan Forge drop and rolling a socket. That small addition of Bannock UI just gives you that extra flair. You know, that little spark that makes you say, hey Brink, I like that UI in the first place. So you log in, add-ons are installed, and you're hit with the Elf UI setup wizard. That's step one done. Now let's get the installation done. Don't sweat the options too much here. Honestly, just click through it, like I'm doing on the screen here right now. You don't need to choose the exact options I did. Just get through the installation and when that's all done, go to the next chapter, where all the magic happens. We'll be using an import code to make everything look a lot better. Okay, Elf UI and Bannock UI are both installed. You survived the setup wizard, nice. Now open up the Elf UI menu, head over to profiles and hit the import tab. I've dropped the import string for my UI in the video description. It's like a cheat code for style. Copy it, paste it in the box and smash that import button like it owes you gold. Now you've got two options. Use the profile as is or save it under your character's name so you'll always have a backup just in case you rage quit your UI at 3 a.m. Pro tip, go with option B. The future you will thank you. At this point, your UI should look a lot like mine. Pretty clean, pretty sexy. We're almost done here. If you're missing some action bars, just head over to the action bar settings and enable the missing bars, most likely one, two or three. Some small adjustments. I adjust the detail windows to match the chat box sizes. Then I delete the default data panels by going to Bannock UI settings, dashboards, system, unchecking enable and reloading the UI. Voila, you're done. Easy peasy UI squeezy. And that's it. You now have my Elf UI. My advice, keep it clean and simple. Like Asmongold's desk, which is technically still a desk under all that stuff. But before I do let you go, I want to share with you why I am moving away from Elf UI. For now at least. After years of loving Elf UI, like a loyal dog loves belly rubs, I've decided to take a break from it. Nothing to complicate it, but lately it's been throwing more Lua errors at me than a rogue throws daggers, and trying to fix them has almost been a full time job. Even after updating all the add ons, I kept getting slapped with pop ups mid fight like surprise, something broke again. I'm not sure why this is happening, but I had enough of googling Lua errors, while I should be making content instead. So yeah. I've always loved pimping my UI and tinkering with the Elf UI settings. It's been kind of a headache recently, but the good news for you is you can turn them off with the script. But my OCD just knows that this doesn't mean that they are not there. Maybe your setup has more luck and you don't have them. But if you do and you don't want to see them anymore, I'll leave a script that you can use below this video. I'm going to roll with Blizzard's standard UI. I know, I know, this comes with the occasional headaches too, but it's not that bad. In fact, it's getting surprisingly good. So good. I'm already working on a follow-up video showing off my retail UI setup. So it's really up to you. If Elf UI still works for you, awesome. I hope my UI serves you well. But if you're tired of dodging error messages like the raid mechanics, then maybe give the new standard UI a shot. Thanks for watching. You're all absolute legends for subscribing. And I can't believe you're almost hitting 2k subs. Stay tuned for more content. And if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. I will see you all in the next one. Brings out.